What's up, fellas? It's been a while. I've missed all you guys. Trust me, I have been watching videos. Most of the time it's at night before I go to bed, so I don't typically comment on all of them, but I try to throw in a comment when I can. But everything's been great. Uh, there's been a few guys that I haven't seen for a while. Um, Big Fish, Jason, haven't seen you in a while. Um... Aaron Fishman's been forever. Um, those are just the guys right off the top of my head I haven't seen in a long time. But, yeah, you guys just keep doing your thing. It's good to be back on here. I finally found a little bit of time. Things have been crazy, but that's, that's everybody. Life happens. So, let's jump right into it. I do have something big to show you guys at the end, so I hope you guys stick around. Or if you just want to slide that little slider and... Head right there, but I wanted to share it with you guys. It's something that I've been uh, waiting on for a long time to add it to my collection. So, some, let's do this first. Uh, I am going to keep this guy <clears throat> for my significant signature set. You guys saw this in the recap video, but the, uh, whoa, terrible glare, the Chris Bryant. So I am going to end up keeping that one for the collection. I did move the Correa to Nick, Men Lovers. What's up, Nick? Um, I had a one-of-one one McGriff that I sold to Ben. Um, used to be Ben GTTM, but I always forget the new one. Uh, so I apologize, Ben. But... Um, Move that to him. Most of that stuff is moved. I do have uh, like six complete sets and there's one master set. So if any of you guys are are looking at any of those, because there's some pretty nice um, inserts and, you know, bigger name base guys in that. So if anyone's interested in that, just let me know. I will... Uh, I can definitely cut a deal on shipping because I think I can send it media. But so let me know. Complete sets, and I do have one um, master set with all the insert sets too. So that's that. That pretty much puts an end to the uh, classics case that I did. I found this on eBay. I'm not going to show you all of them, but this was a $1.39 auction win. It was 45 plus Sean Green cards. Actually cost the guy more to ship than I paid for the auction. So that's eBay seller for the loss there, but uh, I need to get all these penny sleeved and top loaded. So that was awesome. This is a, uh, a mojo break. This was, uh, they did a case of Bowman Asia and they had a contest, so I got this one. I got a, uh, I think I had the twins, and like, the, they random the teams for every every box they did, and I ended up getting a twins auto. Dog screwing with something. Um, Sean Gil Martin from Platinum, not numbered but refractor-ish, so that's cool, and this one is for Ben, Ben knows that this one is coming, so I'm, I'm, he's not going to mind if I show it to you guys, it's a nice card, but as many of you know, uh, Ben's PC guy got traded to the Eagles, so I think we can all kind of feel for Ben, so Ben, you already know this is coming, but I just wanted to show it, it is a nice card, but I fully expect Ben to move this thing so that he can get something nice, like maybe a trout or a uh, a Jordan Auto. But six of ten, Ruben Randall from NT. So that's a nice card. So that will be coming your way, sir. And then this was a. Contenders break with Chad Firehand, but before I get into that, 
I do want to get into NT a little bit. I watched Brad's video. Most of you probably watched Brad's video. And what I love about watching in Brad's video is that he is he's so in tune with what's happening in the in the card world and, and his opinions are are freaking amazing. I love him. But he's spot on. They they made so much of the product that it's a little bit watered down this year and it, it is really hit and miss. Um, I wouldn't say I'm bitter about the product, but it's just I've I've lost my ass on that product this year. There's been uh, I think three cases that I've gone completely hitless, and I had decent teams. Uh, I had the Bucks in one. I had the Steelers in one. Um, the Packers I had in one. I got one hit, which was a Robert Brooks auto. That's already been moved, but that one sold uh, better than what I thought it would. And then I had the Chiefs in one, which no hits. So, man, I've missed everything on that product. Um, I'll probably jump in with BB tonight, so we'll see what happens there. But, um, yes, it's very, it's very hit and miss. And the one thing that I'm a little bit disappointed in is... If you look back two, three years ago, everyone was all about the shields and the laundry tags because they were rare, they were awesome. And now what Panini has decided to do is put them in every other freaking case and the Nike swooshes and all that shit. So to me, I mean, they're still cool and they've, they've got some value, but they're just destroying the, the secondary market value on that crap because there's so much of it out there. So... I don't know. I guess it is what it is, but I watched a break last night and I've seen probably 30, 30 cases of this product busted and, you know, people still get crazy over these logo shields and, and that's, that's fantastic because some of them do sell well, but you're putting so much into the product that it's just completely watering it down. The other night I watched a break where a guy, he... It was a it was a hats off like four out of five Stefan Diggs and he lost his mind because it was the Viking the Viking logo from a hat. And while it's cool, you still have to sit back and remember that it is either a piece of plastic or it is a sewn on thread of a hat that this kid probably wore for like fifteen seconds. So don't lose your shit over like this. I could cut this out of a hat and put it into a card. I doubt people are going to lose their minds, but just because it, well, I don't know, whatever. I'm rambling. I need to stop because I'm rambling, but if you guys agree or disagree, let me know down below because I really want to know, but I think it's kind of crazy. You know, we get all up in arms about these hat logos and shit like that, but if you really think about it, they're just fucking 12 cent logos on a hat that were sewn on or glued on. Don't lose your minds. Of course, me being the hypocrite, I get one. I'm going crazy trying to sell it for $1,500 on eBay. Buy it now. But just my little NT rant. I've lost my ass on it. It pisses me off. But I it's like I feel like a... Uh, I don't go down that road. but Because uh, I had an analogy that was probably a little bit off base. So I'm just going to move on. Love you guys. I'm all over the place today. Um, contenders break with Chad. Chad uh, has a new way that he does. He does these fillers. If you don't win the, if you don't get into the break, then he does like these filler contests. He'll do a box of contenders and draw teams, whatever, yada, yada, yada. So I got this out of the contenders box. One of my spots did not win. One of my spots did get in. Uh, 55 out of 199, a Carlos Hyde playoff ticket, so that's nice. And this was from the actual break itself. It was a case of 15, Doug Baldwin, 130 out of 199. I got the Seahawks, so that's awesome. Um, just some of the inserts. Whoa, Glare Russell. Russell, and some of these flag cards. 
So those are cool. I did pull two Tyler Lockets. This is the uh, base version. I don't know if this is the photo variation that's all, I don't know, they're all over eBay. Every, everyone on eBay says that they have the photo variation, whether it's the right one or not. So that shit's stupid, along with the eBay one of one crap. So there's a Locket base. Who knows if it's a photo variation? I don't know. And then this is the one out of 99, 23 of 99. On card. So that's cool. And then I guess I did hit the case hit, if you will. I had, uh, like I said, I had the Seahawks. I think they were like a $90 team, which... Shows you how much I am up on things. The locket stuff, I think, is what makes the team so high. But I did hit the case hit, if you want to call it the case hit. Uh, MVP contenders to 10. It is a sticker, but it is all on sticker. It's a beautiful card, but there's really no need to grade it because I think I will be moving it anyway, but it does have some corner issues. Not terrible, but... Wessel! Two of ten. We were one away from an eBay one of one jersey number. So yeah, that's a uh, a sweet card. I'm gonna see what I can get for that. But yeah, I was pretty excited. Didn't expect that at all. Definitely a short print. So that's cool. And now, last but not least, 12 minutes in. This is one of my longer videos. Um, my Trout PC Edition to show you guys. Drink a coffee here first. If you guys have hung with me. Alright, here we go. Look at this guy. Oh, ho, ho. Look at this guy. Look at that guy. This is my rainbow trout that I caught uh, two years ago this June and uh, caught him out of a, a stream in a town about an hour and a half uh, east of here. He's one of the big boys. Uh, they call this guy a brood because he was one of the... Um, Trout that they use for, for breeding and stuff like that because they do the at the hatchery. But every once in a while they'll throw these guys in and they'll live in the stream for two or three or four years or whatever. But I happened to land a brood. As you can see, he had been in the stream a while. He got beat up here. His tail was got nicked on something. And then this back fin here was all beat up too. But that's what makes him unique, he or she. Um, so yeah, 21 inches, I want to say close to three pounds, but not quite. The, the head is a, uh, is like a model head, but the taxidermist actually did a really nice job on the, on the skin. This is all his skin. Everything's legit. Just kind of, uh, painted everything, but a beautiful rainbow, um, I was so sick after I caught this damn thing because just the rush of adrenaline. So, yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys. I know it's an odd pickup. I don't know. Um, I think some of you are fishermen out there, but let me know. Uh, I know for sure Greg Thomas dabbles. Um, Drew, lefty NDV, is a fisherman. But this is a prize. I knew when I caught him, he had to go up on the wall. So... My beautiful trout edition. I appreciate you guys watching. I will talk with you all later and peace.